Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Hello. Today's read is for you Sagittarius. Sagittarius, like, comment, and subscribe to the videos. I appreciate you guys when you leave comments. That is spiritual energy for you. That also is energy for me. So I definitely appreciate when you guys leave comments. Continue to do so. You are definitely appreciated. So, again, let's begin. The card's been shuffled and prayed over. The first card that came out, Sag, was the journey card, right? So, it's like somebody is trying to, you know, take a trip to your home. But it looks like this person uh, may have lost a lot of money. Or this is you. This could be you, Sag. <clears throat> but there's an ending and a closing. So, basically, you got somebody that wants to come in to your home but it's like maybe you've told this person they cannot come to your home because what happens is when this person comes to your home you're going to lose money and stability i asked for clarifications with the sudden wealth and reverse and, and it's talking about stability as the king of pentacles this is you you're in the energy of being stable being focused being grounded you are very honest with yourself you're very truthful and you're very independent so spirit is saying with this person being in your energy or if you were to allow this as a person that could be trying to come to your home to live with you. Um, Spirit is letting me know that with this uh, Sutton Wealth in Reverse, that because of your independence, your stability, um, what happens is a person like this, and I ask for clarification of the characteristic of this person, you being a queen of swords is actually you're very independent. You're very truthful. Um, you're very fair and principled. So you, you are very objective as well. So you're honest as well. So you have stability and you're honest and you're very truthful. And the, pro, and the thing is the ace of want cups is big blessings, new beginnings. The thing is you having this person in your home will cause you to lose focus when it comes to having success with the new things that you're doing in your life. What other new, um, business or uh, new relationships and spirit wants you to stay tapped in with that hermit card so success is coming to you as long as you stay tapped in um you'll have new love a new business um you'll be new be doing having new ideals so spirit is telling you that someone is taking a journey or this could be somebody that's already in your home right someone that has moved into your home you may have lost money because this person is in your home. That cycle has come to a close and an ending. So just know that this, the person in your home, this again, this could be someone currently living with you. They're causing you to lose money. They're causing you to lose focus and to have a new adventure and new love and stability in your home. So those are the stories. The Spirit is saying once this person is removed from your home, you're going to have success in abundance with your new job, your new career, your new love. You'll be truthful telling this person that your stability, they're causing you to lose your stability. Spirit is telling you that you are already tapped in and your success will come along with your focus, your being truthful. As long as this person is, as long as you don't let this person come in your home, they could be in your home. So I asked for clarification about this person. This is a seeker. This is somebody who's actually, they have the inability to complete what they start. You're on the other hand, you're a, you are a seeker that actually somebody that has thirst for wisdom and knowledge. Okay. You elevate when you seek to learn new information. This person is the total opposite. When they seek to find information, they never complete the journey. So if this person were to move in with you, this is a person that would really just prey on you. And when they would prey on you, it would all only be for an alter ulterior motive. This person, again, would take you off of your, of your focus. They would take you off of whatever you're building in your home. And this person is a knight. So this is somebody that they're very destructive. They're very, very destructive. You, on the other hand, if you are a knight, which I don't believe you are, you're the king of pentacles. So you're grounded and focused. You're very truthful and honest when it comes to your um, 
new ideas and businesses that you'll be successful on. So it's basically, I feel like this person is a blockage to you. That's what spirit is telling you. And exactly, because this person is really someone that's very violent. This person would cause a lot of violence if, they, if you allow this person to, to come in and move in your home. So spirit is warning you that you're going to have someone that wants to come to your home and they, they want to live with you. And you're going to lose a lot of money. It's like, it's like you're gambling with your own success in abundance if you allow this person to move in with you. You're going to have to be honest and truthful and let this person know that you're stable. You're, you're, you're starting, you're, you're making money. You're very happy. You're very practical. And you don't need any upheaval of someone coming in your energy. That is the overall energy. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to ask, but, oh, and also, yeah, this person, they're stalling. This is somebody that's stalling. You're blocking this person. You're stopping this person. If you haven't, you're going to be blocking this person. You're going to be protecting yourself from this person because this person is, again, very destructive. This is a person that is very destructive. They like to fight. They want to argue, and then they want to come in, and they want to maybe offer you money to stay. Maybe they want to pay rent. But Spirit is saying judgment will be held against you if you allow this person to come in your life. Because all they're going to do is take away your focus. You're not going to be tapped in with this person if you allow this person to live with you. So that's what that is. Spirit needs you to know that, Sag. So I'm going to ask Spirit what, else, what other energies that you need to know. So it seems to me that someone... Um, this person could be living with you now. So, again, this is for somebody that's currently living with you. They're causing you to lose stability. They're, they're actually blocking your success because you being tapped in is very difficult. This person is in your home, and it's like they're taking over your space. This is for those if someone does live with you, but for the ones that or not living with you. This could be a family member, a friend. It doesn't matter. This is somebody that will stunt your growth from climbing to have success. Remember, this is it right here. Success. You're 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 right now in an energy where where you're building success, a business, whether it's your job, um, new relationships. You don't want this person coming in trying to create unsuccessful plans for you they will have you in a knot they will have you all jammed up this person will have you um causing you not to have celebrations and fun you're gonna have that as long as this person is not in your energy so keep your life in balance sag this person as i stated they're very argumentative they're arrogant this is somebody that's very arrogant. They're very rude. This is somebody that the reason why they're coming to you because their wishes was not granted. Okay, so now they have their eye on you trying to create. Um, they're trying to create you from having any success. This can be in October, October that passed. These reads are timeless. So let's see what else the spirit wants you to know. So that's the overall energy. And I know that was pretty long, but it's somebody that wants to live with you or someone that is currently living with you. Sag, that you need to remove them from your home because they're, they're stealing your joy. All right? What else is the Sag need to know? Because, see, you have good luck, the abundance. That's the will of fortune. You have good luck on your side with that six of wands card. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Yeah, this person, if they're living with you currently or will be, they're going to block your blessings. Yeah, so when I saw that sudden wealth, and this is the thing, they'll block your money. This is somebody, and that's why this is in reverse. They will block your money. They will allow you to lose money. 
So you're not, you're climbing a ladder to success. You're, you're taking the journey to get what you deserve in this lifetime. Okay. Hmm. This card came out here. Spirit is also wanting you to know this is confirmation what I'm telling you. And I know you see angel numbers. You guys are seeing angel numbers for sure. You're definitely seeing angel numbers. And that's, again, confirmation to let you know that what I'm saying is accurate. Do not allow this person, says, to come to your home. If they haven't, they will. And this, this will happen in October or maybe it has already happened. Or, again, you're currently in this energy. What else does says need to know? What else, spirit? What else does Sags need to know? What else? Okay, yeah, they'll, they'll steal your creativity. Just this person being around you will cause you to lose creativity. And again, they're stalling. This is somebody, if they're living with you now, they're stalling. They don't want to move. They don't want to leave your house. This is an unwant, unwelcome person. Yeah, they're very angry. If you once you remove this person from your house, and it's the right thing to do because you're highly intuitive. You already know that what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. This person, when they come in your house or if they're living with you now, all you do, you two, is, is compete. This person competes with you. This person causes a lot of conflict. This is what goes on in your home, as I stated. They don't want you to be happy in your home. They want to cause conflict and fighting. That's pretty mysterious to you because this could be a family member. This could be your child, your son, your daughter, a, a friend, a lover, whoever. They're causing you to um, have problems working in your home, you know. But see, again, here's your match, the Queen of Pentacles. Very nurturing. You're, this could be a male or female. But we have your match as the King of Pentacles. Remember, the Ace of Cups came out here. So this is a person that's very devilish. This is the person that's in your home. They're very, um, they cause all kind of lies and illusions. With the, um, this person could be a Capricorn with the Devil card. This person is very attached to you. They don't want to move forward. They're making plans to do something sneaky to you. You know, lie and cheat. But you need to make plans mysteriously and find a way to get this person out of your home. I get the feeling this is somebody that may possibly be living with you. And once you remove this person, you're going to receive good news that will be coming to you very shortly. And then you'll be able to you know, stay in that high vibrational energy. Clarify the home card for Sag. Yeah. Oh, the death court. See? Oh, wow. The ending, the coffin court. It's out here twice. So, there's, wow. The cycle with this person making a journey in your home or someone living in your home, family, friends, it doesn't matter. The cycle is closed. They're going to block your blessings. Remember, you are stable. This is what Spirit is stating. If you stay tapped in, Sag. And be truthful and let this person know, these family, friends, or lovers that are trying to block your new, your happiness so that you wouldn't, you won't be successful. And then you wouldn't say tapped in. You're going to lose your abundance in your home. This is something happening in your home. This person could be a Sag. They could be a Leo, Virgo. I mean, a Taurus, Leo. Aquarius or Scorpio. There's a death and a closing to the cycle. This person coming in your home to live with you, it will just end very negatively. And you as a queen of cups is very kind hearted. You're, you're holding back your emotions, but spirit wants you to be truthful with the queen of swords. You're very kind to the people around you, but the, all they're thinking about is how they can harm you with this death card. This is somebody that's in your home just thinking about how they can harm you. But you're, you, you've you told this person they need to walk away because their intentions are not good. They just want to see, they want to see you in a ten of swords energy. This is somebody that's jealous of you. This, but you're a magician. 
You're very stable. You, you can do a lot of things. This person is a lover. This is somebody that, um, this could be a loved one, even though it says lover, you know, so it says lover. So this is a lover that you're living with or will be living with or wanting to come to live with you because you're very intuitive. Spirit is saying, use your intuition, hold on to your emotions. Do not allow yourself to be overwhelmed with your emotions when it comes to this person because all they want is your success spirit again just wants you to go within use your intuition be truthful right and close out the cycle justice has prevailed for you okay sag let's see what else we need to know uh, again this is about your home your home life there's a lot of instability you can't you it's like you're trying to balance yourself in your home with work, with business, with maybe a, a relationship. You're trying to balance everything. But because there, there's uh, someone in your home, it's causing you um, a lot of instability. You are trying to balance work life, home life, family life in your home. So, again, it just sounds like the situation, um, justice is, is coming to bring balance here. Because, remember, there's instability, but the angels are giving you justice. This person will move out again, or this person will be blocked from coming into your home. You're independent. So you need your space so that you can grow this Ace of Pentacles, right? So we're going to, yeah, Spirit wants to give you this. You've earned it. This is somebody that they're stressing. Maybe you're stressing. Again, you're stressing about this person that you had a relationship with. Again, family or friends, but abundance is all surrounding you. Once the cycle with this person ends, you're going to you're going to be very wealthy, very very wealthy. So, we're going to begin to close out this reset and see what else the ancestors and your angels have to tell you. Right? So just know that you're on the right track. Again, this person, wow, okay, came in reverse. Yeah, you're on a new path. Possibly this is a child that you love very much. They need to take a new pathway. Because if you allow this person in your home, they're going to cause you continued despair. Anything else says needs to know? Anything else? I told y'all a wealthy man is coming to you. Once you release, see the sudden wealth, it's like you guys will have a drought. If you don't, you are. But the minute you let this person go, spirit will give you this new person in your life, man or woman. That is what's due to you. A wealthy man. Your love life will open up. Your business life will open up. So it's like having unwel unwelcome people in your space and in your home that is very negative. They're just going to block your blessings. This wealthy man is sitting back waiting, man or woman, to come to, to you. Until you resolve the issues that you're dealing with, because obviously you guys are dealing with something, adjudication, a legal matter. Um, what else? What else? Oh, previous lady. Wow. Again, this is you, man or woman. Oh, wow. This person, you'll be working with this person. 
Hmm. You. Wow. So you are the privileged lady and or you'll be married. Someone is trying to work to get. Hmm. Someone is working their way. And I feel like this is this is the overall race. Someone is working. You may have to take somebody to court, the family room. Again, this is a house. Once this person leaves your home, you'll be married. Spirit will be working your way. Adjudication. Hmm. And you'll no longer be concerned. It's about your work. Again, maybe you work from home. Your concerns will be over once this person or people in your life, you will become, a, if you're not already a privileged lady, you'll be wealthy, you'll be working with this person. There'll be some sort of adjudication, some sort of legal system will be to, will be put to rest. You'll have, you'll no longer have concerns. This will all come in the form of a message. Things will come, some message is coming to you regarding a lover. They decided to take a new pathway. Hmm. Maybe this person heard about you. They have thoughts about you. This is somebody, this is the main male. This is the person that's trying to come to you because they're thinking about you being married. This is what this is. Somebody is concerned that was a former lover. This is the second time the lover card came out. They're making their way, the pathway. This is the journey. Someone is making their way to come to you, Sagittarius, to your home. Maybe this person wants to come and live with you because they're trying to, this person is trying to cock block you. That's what this is. This person is trying to cock, cock block you. It could be family, friends. It doesn't matter. Someone is in your home or planning on trying to come to your home to block your blessings with money. Believe me, spirit just says, stay tapped in, Sag. Do not allow anybody to steal your success and victory. This is what's here for you. Look, wealthy man, privileged lady. Wow. You guys are very, very, um, this, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. This person is concerned because you're on the path where well, you're not concerned, but this person is concerned because you're on the path to working toward having a marriage. With someone new, this person is wanting to send you a message. This was a former lover, Sag. I told you they're in their thoughts. This is a main man. We're going to close this read. And we're going to see what your angels have to say to you. All right? I told you romance at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you have romance. You're going to have to communicate clearly. The queen of swords is already out here. You have to tell this person they can't live with you. They can't move in with you. They can't stay with you. Whatever your situation is, it's different for all of us. Things, there's something better. Exactly. Do not allow, Sag. This is what Spirit is telling you. And I know you guys are seeing angel numbers because abundance is waiting for you. How many ways can Spirit tell y'all? Confirmation numbers. When you see these angel numbers, they're, it's backing up this read that I'm saying to you, Sag. Abundance is waiting for you. You're climbing the corporate ladder. And you're ready. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So you're ready for romance, to build your business, to have a wealthy partner. You're not going to have a bum. You're not going to have a knight in your life. This person is a knight. Spirit says, be free. Take the chance. This person will be offering your hand in marriage. Go for it. 
and no need to worry. This is the read, Sagittarius. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.